champions, the world is going electric and today we are testing a truly electric life. Electric car, electric drone and as you guessed right, electric jet surf. Let's go! ago we went to Czech Republic and met Jet Surf team Zbinek and Pavel they told us everything about this amazing new product but today I finally received my box so in this short video we are going to unbox it see what's inside see what's coming for 2021 version and of course I'm going to test the board in different conditions and show my honest and unbiased review and some tips so stay tuned without further ado let's get to it Are you ready? Let's open up. As you can see, we got two boxes here. The main one and the battery. Let's start with the main one. Remember my drum roll. Ta -da! Wow. And what do we have here? A new jet surf electric stand. As you can see, it's short and stronger than the stand from the petrol board because electric one is more heavy. To open the stand, you simply twist the longer part and then pull two opposite ones. Here you go, very easy. Here are your little wheels for the traveling bag. But to be honest, if you're dealing with electric boards, I would suggest to get trolley like this with big wheels. They're not getting stuck in the sand. I love this car. And now, without further ado, let's open the main thing. Are you ready? Here we are. Woo! Wow, it's exactly as I imagined. I saw all the videos about Jet Surf Electric, tutorials, you name it. So I know almost everything about this board and I'm super excited to share it with you. Let's start with the fins. The Jet Surf Electric is using two FCS2 fins on the sides and the main fin the same as the petrol board. Now we have the traditional bag with all the instruments, your spark plug, your allen key. I'm joking, you don't need any of that for electric board. All you need is actually <laughs> just the starter magnet. Without the battery, the weight of this board is pretty much the same as with petrol jet surf. Now let's quickly open the second box and see the battery. Ah, oh my god, this is a heavy part. <laughs> oh, it's a baby! Oh, pretty good! Just we got inflatable jet surf tube to learn the board easier. Your kids are going to love it. Here we got the charger. And finally we got this ridiculously heavy backpack which contains the battery and probably weighs as much as this board. Hop, 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 hop. Battery is in. Let's try to start the board. I'm putting the magnet in. The indicator light turns blue and the board is ready to go. Perfect! You can set three different levels of power, depending who is going to use this board. If you're using it with kids or rentals, I would suggest to put it on the low power. You can also choose the medium power or the full power. Switching between... Stop doing this. Switching between power modes is very easy. You keep one magnet in and the second magnet you put here to the indicator light. Green means low power, orange means medium power and red means high power. There is also a very cool mode. Stop doing this! I should also mention a really cool feature called booster mode. Once you push your throttle control fully, there is also still room to push it even stronger, which gives you about two more horsepower and improves your ride about 10 to 30 seconds with the maximum speed possible. All right, guys, we got everything ready. Now let's assemble everything charge everything up and go straight to the ocean to test this amazing board. Let's go! And now we are going to test Jet Surf Electric in the waves. Let's do it!
best part about electric. You don't really have to ride all the time. You can just sit back, relax, wait for the next set to come, and then go. If you're going to use jet surf electric in the ocean, there are a couple of things that I recommend you get before you go. First of all, your safety, life vest and helmet. I'm using the helmet called Mead Parachute. It's a very easy, lightweight helmet and the water escapes it very easily, making it very easy to dry. And I said easy like a billion times already. Keep continuing with safety. This board is very reliable, but even so a lot of things can go wrong in the ocean. So it's better be safe than sorry. As a plan B, you can use something like a pair of flippers, which I can attach using a velcro to the nose of the board. Next, your backpack. Inside you can keep your iPhone, your car keys and of course the documents of the board and marine insurance. Next, you can use the stopwatch. It's really easy to lose track of time when you use boards like this. Next, if you're going to use it in big waves, I recommend to get a coiled leash. This will help you prevent losing your board and getting stranded in the ocean. And finally, I always use my waterproof headphones. These boards are almost noiseless, but it's much more fun to ride with your favorite music. I hope this keeps you helpful, let's keep on riding! So the wave riding was amazing, but it's also important to show that Jet Surf Electric is perfect for beginners. That's why today with Melissa we are going to test Jet Surf Tube! Let's go! Melissa. It was super fun and so easy. Go again. Now I'm going to show you what you need to do after each use, especially in the salty water. What we are going to need is a garden hose. If you don't have a garden, get a system like rinse kit, which is a fully autonomous and very easy to use even in your car. Now we are going to spray everything really well to remove the sand, especially from the cooling system of the battery. And now we can remove the battery. Now it's really important that you cover the connectors using this special plug. Get the water out. Now we're going to need to open the engine compartment to check if there is any water inside. Now let's open the decompression chamber and see if there is any water inside. If you find any water there, remove the water. And also make sure this screw is very clean. We remove the water, so let's close it back. Now we are going to open the engine compartment and see if there is any water inside. There shouldn't be any water except the small condensation. If you see water inside, get back to the service center. Now close and screw everything back. And finally unscrew these two screws and see if there is any water inside and take out the water. Finally we're going to clean the cooling system. JetSurf has provided a special little tool that you can connect to your garden hose. Just put it in and the water is coming out. That's it, all the maintenance is done. Now you just charge your battery and you're ready to go again.
Before we start our review, let me address the elephant in the room. The truth is, electric jet boards are two times heavier than petrol ones and have two times less riding time. So, if you're looking for a long distance riding or planning to travel with your board and participate in races, definitely pick a board like JetSurf Titanium or JetSurf Race DFI or Adventure Plus that we reviewed last summer. Those are awesome lightweight boards that you can easily take on the plane, while you cannot fly with electric because of the battery. Now let me cover what I love about JetSurf Electric and what I hate about it. The pros and cons, fully honest and biased review. It's all I wanna do Here is what I love about JetSurf Electric. Despite being very heavy compared to petrol ones, it's still the lightest and the most powerful electric jet board on the market. The developers were really focused on safety, that's why it took them 3 years and thousands and thousands of serious testing before they were ready to release it to the market. Most other brands unfortunately do the opposite. They make one prototype that kinda works and then start selling it right away, making first generation buyers basically better testers, experiencing all kinds of problems from rusty connectors to battery fires. JetSurf has a reputation they built over 10 years, so if they were to release an electric jet board, it's better be good. And I think they didn't disappoint. The safety starts with a smart charger, which includes a safety horn system and a lot of safety measures in the board and in the battery, such as temperature checking, BMS and cells, pressure and humidity checking. The 2021 version focuses even more on advanced safety features and reliability, making it hopefully the most trusted board on the market. What I also love about this board is that it can be used by both complete beginners and pro riders. With petrol boards, it was very hard for a newbie to learn. You cannot lay on the board because you can easily flood the engine. Learning was quite a challenge. With electric board, you have full freedom to play with it. Lay on it, sit on it, dive with it. It's fully waterproof and it makes learning much easier. The jet surf tube makes it accessible to anybody even with no surfing experience. Now you can stand on the board even without moving. At the same time, the pro riders will still get their adrenaline rides and fast speeds, especially with the new boost mode. And finally, zero local emissions. If you are concerned about environment or living on a lake where petrol boards are not allowed, this board is definitely for you. Low noise levels, no emissions, no smell, no gasoline oil leaking. Recharge the battery and go again. You are going to love it. Now. What I didn't like about this board, as you know, electric jet boards are very heavy. Let's be honest, almost anybody can carry a 20 kg board, but unless you are a very strong man in a good shape, carrying 40 kg plus the gear makes it honestly a two-man job. You can of course get a trolley and pull it through the sand, or go two times, first bring the board, then go back and bring the big backpack containing the battery. All this creates additional hassle. Of course, if you live directly on the lake or own a yacht, it's not a problem at all. Another thing I didn't like is excessive amount of maintenance needed after each ride. Checking the decompression chamber for water, checking the engine, all that requires a lot of screwing and unscrewing. But I heard that it will be hopefully solved in the next generation models. The main reason for this, the board is hollow and has air inside to keep the weight as low as possible, while other boards use foam inside which makes them very heavy, but it doesn't require the decompression. The new model will also have a long-anticipated FCS2 center fin. I would also love to see some spot to attach the back leash as well, as attaching it to the bindings might ruin the screws. And of course we'll be waiting for the new app, where the users can track their rides, set the power settings and meet other riders for the group rides. The bottom line, JetSurf Electric is a perfect combination of safety and power, which makes it a great board for both beginners, casual riders, renting places, and even pro riders living on those pristine lakes in Austria or Germany, where the petrol boards are not allowed. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, put the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Keep on riding. Cheers.
Anton. 